This is MagTastic, my MagSafe compatible MeshTastic node. It has a five day battery life, an external antenna, and can attach onto the back of any Qi2 or MagSafe phone case or phone. And the real party trick is it can wirelessly charge. You can put that down on any wireless charging pad or even these magnetic MagSafe pucks. This one's not plugged in, but you get the idea. And it comes in a variety of colors. We have uh, blue, orange, white, uh, and a fan favorite is this green here. You can see with this nice long antenna on there by Muzzy Works. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how to build these today. You can also 3D print the cases. I'm going to have the files um, linked in the description along with where to purchase all the other items that you need. I am selling these uh, pre-assembled uh, for a little bit. I'm, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing that. Probably not much longer, but I will be selling the cases um, for these if you don't have a 3D printer. Um, you can find that in the link below. I also just wanted to add before we get started that um, you can have the long antenna on with uh, it attached to the phone. It looks kind of like a high-tech walkie-talkie. You can, you can even fold the antenna like this and shove it in your pocket. Uh, so that's a cool thing. I, I thought it wouldn't be strong enough, the, the magnets. To... Yeah, that was something that surprised me, so I thought I'd mention it. All right, let's get to building it. So right here is just about everything you need to get started building uh, the Magtastic node. Everything on the right here is actually from the uh, Rack Mini Starter Kit um, that you can get from uh, Rockland. I'll have the link in the description, um, as well as um, a link for the battery, the wireless charging coil, and uh, a, a set of screws that's going to include these two screws. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be building a blue one. Um, this blue and green set uh, I'm building for a customer. Uh, shout out to Caleb. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. We can get rid of this antenna right here. This is a LoRa antenna. Um, we don't need this internal antenna, so we can just throw that aside. The first thing we need to do is prep the rack uh, 4631 board. This battery connector here is just a little too thick compared to everything else here. So we're going to trim it. And uh, what I like to do is just trim these two guys first. Then I'll go ahead and trim the other side. It doesn't matter if you cut the connector pins as well. It doesn't matter how you do it. You can file that down or, or whatever. It, do it doesn't really matter. You just got to get that trimmed um, to the length of those metal pins really. Now we're going to take the <coughs> antennas that we have here. This is the SMA antenna and we're actually going to plug that in to where it says LoRa right on the label there and do the same for the BLE antenna. These usually have a label. I'm not sure why this one doesn't but the, the one that's like a T-shape that's the Bluetooth antenna and we're just gonna pop that in where it says BLE. Bend it a little bit because we're got, we want both of the uh, antennas to come out at the same same location there if I've been framed. There we go. We can turn that around and we'll try to keep those antennas in place here. And then you just want to put the USB side in first and then set down the other side to make sure it's not pinched in between the, the screw post and the, um, uh, the, the PCB. Take these uh, screws here. You're not going to need most of them, but you do need at least one of these larger screws that are in the pack and as you're pinching that board against the case just screw it in. You're gonna have to really push because you're going uh, right into the plastic. Optionally it's not really necessary but because these are for a customer I'm gonna do it properly here. I'm gonna put the second one in this hole here. So now uh, it, we have to arrange these antenna wires. You're going to take the SMA antenna wire and wrap it around that screw post and then just loop it back and 
and slide it right into the, the hole here. There we go. And it's going to pop right into that, uh, holding the SMA connector in place. Um, what I like to do is put the antenna like that, and then making sure that the gray wire goes under the black one, I'll lie it flat. Let's get the charging coil uh, prepared. So there's not much you need to do with it other than put a piece of tape on it. And this is just going to prevent it from shorting anything out. Uh, the back side here has no components on it. That's the side you want to put tape on. So we just, it doesn't matter what size piece of tape, it just has to extend past the sides uh, like so here. And then you just kind of fold it over. If you have some excess, it doesn't matter that much. So now it's probably a good idea to add some flux to the connections we're going to be soldering. <clears throat> this isn't necessary, but uh, I recommend it. So get any flux, uh, doesn't really matter. I'm not even particularly a fan of this one here, but it's a little paste and I'm just going to put it on those two uh, connectors there. We're going to put some flux down here as well. And you don't need a ton, just some. But you know what, it's a good idea to also just add some new solder to these joints. So I'm going to do that. And this one's going to take a little bit to heat up because that's a ground plane. And then we'll do this one here. And this is just going to give it some nice uh, new leaded solder. We'll use the black wire on this uh, pin here. We'll attach that. And sorry, it's a little hard to do this with the tripod in the way, but I'm making it work. And uh, that looks good. So now that that one's attached, we'll do the red on the pin right above that. Now the there's quite a bit of cable on this that we don't need, uh, so we're going to fold it right into that uh, that empty space there where the module is. Just kind of snake it in there, but we're going to leave that uh, aside for now while we attach the battery. Now the battery that you get might have um, a connector on it. Just cut it off, cut one wire at a time, of course, so you don't short it out. The colors are the opposite. Um, so the red is going to be on the bottom, black is on the top. I think about it like red is on the inside of the board, black is on the outside. Okay, so um, to make sure you don't short anything out, I like to put the wire this way, like that. And I'll do the red first, uh, just because that's a little safer way to do it. Uh, now we'll do the black one, and uh, be warned, it's going to turn on the board when we do this, so you will see the light, um, the green LED light up, and I like to warm this pin up for about three seconds, um, because again, it is a ground plane, and so it has a lot of heat absorption, and there we go, there we go. And now you can uh, route the wire in this little space down here. The battery should fit pretty snug next to all these uh, antenna wires. Um, <clears throat> the next step, very important, don't forget this little black sheet of paper that comes with the wireless charging coil. Don't throw it away, you need it. It's most likely not going to wirelessly charge without this in place. Now. You can fold the, this uh, wireless charging coil over everything else. On, there's some variation between these. Some have a little more uh, play than others, but this one I'm going to angle it in a very specific way, and I'll explain why in a second. So basically, um, you want to make sure that everything is clear of this screw post right here and this screw post right here, this screw hole. Um, so the board, this one's uh, the longer variation. There's like two different variations I get when I order these. You can uh, angle it a little bit like this so that it doesn't get in the way of that screw post. And try to keep this as straight as possible. So with that in place, I'm going to get the lid. 
And I like to start by tilting it <clears throat> like this towards the SMA connector because um, it has this little piece here that holds the SMA connector in. And then I'll push down all around the other sides until it kind of clicks into place. Now, it's a very tight fit, so you might need to massage it a little bit. Hold on. Let's see what's going on here. I think... Yeah, there we go. So, just needed some slight adjustments here. Yeah, there we go. You can see this, uh, I think that's a capacitor blocking the charging coil uh, PCB. And there we go. Again, it's a tight fit. It's going to be bulging a little bit, but if done correctly, it shouldn't pop off on its own. That's how you know everything is perfect. But now we need to put the screws. They're two different sizes. And the reason for that is um, you need to have a 10 millimeter screw on this hole. And this one technically can take a 10 millimeter as well. But I don't know if it's just these screws or my batch or whatever, they just keep breaking um, when I use 10 on that. So I'm gonna use 10 here and uh, eight on this one. And you, just, you don't need it super tight, you just need it flush. So try not to go too tight. Same thing for this one. So that's flush now. Okay, and you have a mostly complete unit here. You just peel the adhesive back off. And I just kind of eyeball it. It's pretty, pretty easy to see when it's centered. Um, so that looks good. And then you have these uh, little tail pieces. And now uh, the SMA connector has a nut that you can put on as well also optional it, it won't push in without it um, but it does have a little wiggle compared to when, when you do install it um, so let me screw on the antenna here and you can see without that uh, the nut um, it does have a little bit of wiggle for some antennas um, like this muzzy works I showed earlier that one doesn't leave um, much clearance when it's fully screwed in so generally, if, if you put a, an antenna on and it touches that nut, I would just remove it. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's how to build the Magtastic node. All right, so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you have fun with uh, this little node. I know I do. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the links below to buy any items. They are affiliate links, so if you do choose to purchase any items with my links. I, I do get a little uh, kickback from that, so I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.